Herb, I don't know what to tell you. Curly insisted Buddy is innocent, but that doesn't argue away the evidence. Or did he tell you about that? He told me. He doesn't trust you city lawmen. <laughs> He's waiting for me outside in the park. Good. I don't want that wild man running around loose here. When we picked up Tex, he threatened to shoot up the jail. I'm surprised he's not mixed up in this murder. You checked on his alibi? The girl was killed a few minutes after the party broke up. Curly was in a cab going back to his hotel. The cab company records verify that. Here's the key to the girl's room. We found it in Tex's pocket. Tex's bandana was found twisted around the girl's throat. Bandana handkerchiefs are common enough. There must be thousands of these in the storage. Yeah, but there's only one Tex. And he was found kneeling next to the girl's body when Curly came in. Herb, everybody at that party knew the Tex would make trouble. That's why they all cleared out. But we did pick up that piano player of theirs. Tillinghask, alias the professor, alias well-known vagrant. But some of the others are still missing. We haven't been able to find out he climbed the cab driver yet. It seems to me the most important thing is whether or not Tex came back to see the girl that night after the party. Does he admit it? He doesn't have to admit it. We've got eyewitness testimony from some of the other guests about the quarrel. And Isabel Jamison, the victim's girlfriend, she swears Tex threatened to kill Lola. What about Dave Lamb, the man they quarrel over? Oh, well, he hasn't been picked up yet. We'll bring him in when we do. He'll talk. Well, meanwhile, I'd like to hear what Tex has to say. Good, but uh, you better watch him, Herb. He has a wicked temper. You know what they say, they grow things big as Tex. <laughs> I admit... The news of Artie Klum's death reaffirmed Curly's intention to haul out his six-shooter. I put in a quick call to police headquarters and waylaid Curly long enough for Lieutenant Weston to give him a sample of justice, Northern style. Innocent of this killing, yes, but that has no bearing on the other case. I think it does, Lieutenant. Whoever killed Artie Klum meant to silence him for what he knew about the first murder. If you fellas had just get Dave Lamb, you'd have your killer. Back where I come from, we believe in quick justice. But we'd have had him dangling from a rope two hours ago. Yes, and two hours from now, you might be dangling from a rope yourself for hanging the wrong man. Well, at least we'd get some action. And that's what I'm going to do myself right now. But where do you think you're going, Cody? If your men can't get this varmint, I'll go out and get them for him. I got me a six-shooter at the hotel. And that's right where it's going to stay, and you too, understand? Or would you prefer to join your partner in a cell? He means it, Curly. And he's right. You go along back to your hotel and let the law handle this. I got a right to know what's going on. I'll call you just as soon as I get any information. That's a promise. All right, Mr. Maris, you're the boss. But I still think you're wasting your time until you get a hold of Dave Lamb. I'm sure glad to get that guy out of my hair. What's left of him? You know, Lieutenant, I've been thinking. Yeah? What he says about Dave Lamb may be right. Dave was a friend of Lola's, and he disappeared right after Lola's death. There must be some connection. Well, don't you think I realize that, Herb? As soon as I get the coroner's report, I'm going to do a little special checking on my own. My men may not be able to find Dave Lamb, but I've got to hunt somebody knows where he is. Who? Lola's girlfriend, Isabel Jamison. I think I'll drop by her apartment and have another talk with her. Mind if I join you? Not at all. But leave your six-shooter at home. Oh, no, not you again. Yes, it's me again. I'm sorry, Miss Jamison. It's part of my job. Look, I've already told you everything I know. About Lola, yes. But I want to hear about Artie Klum. Artie Klum, the cab driver? So what's the tell? He drives a hack, that's Drove all. a hack, Miss Jamison. Artie's dead. He was found in an alley about three hours ago. You're kidding. It's true, Miss Jamison. I found the body. Who's this character? My name is Maris. I'm Texas attorney. Well, I don't tell lies. I won't say that I'm pleased to meet you. We're here on business, Miss Jamison, now that Artie Klum is dead. I swear I've been here in this apartment all day and I don't know anything about it. Well, nobody said you did, but we think Dave Lamb does know something about it. You mean you think he cooled Artie? But if you're out of your skull, he couldn't. Why not? Because I've been here all day. And that's the truth, so help me. He's been here since the party last night. You may have sent you killed the girl, is that it? Lola? Why would I kill Lola? She was my ace in the hole. What do you mean by that? You'd better tell them, Dave. Yeah, I suppose so. Look, Lola and I had this whole thing all rigged. She was going to marry this chump, and then afterwards I was going to hang around and make him jealous. Get him real mad. Get pitch. Yeah, I get a pitch. And she'd divorce him and meddle cruelly. End up with a nice big bundle of loot. 
No, I didn't kill Lola. Like I said, she was my ace in the hole. All right, Dave. Now, supposing you tell us about Adi Klum, huh? You might as well spill it. They're going to find out anyway. I guess you're right. Look, I didn't want to get messed up in this thing. I guess I'll have to get myself off the hook. After the party was over, I, uh, I hung around the hotel for a while. I figured I'd see Lola again. So you did go back to her room after all? No, no. No, I never got a chance. Artie Klum pulled up in his cab and let someone out at the side door of the hotel. To see who it was? Yeah. Yeah, it was Curly. Now, it makes sense, Lieutenant. Artie could have testified that Curly came back again to the hotel. But that doesn't mean he killed her, of course. I'll question him. No one denies it. Then what are you going to do? Try to find some more evidence. Herb, I feel the same way about this as you do. But we don't run on frontier justice, and we don't force confessions. Maybe there's another way to get a confession without force. All right, I'm game. When do we begin? Right now. Ow! All right, Curly, get up. You know, we know how to use these things up here, too. Only we don't use them to hit cab drivers over the head with... This is Artie Klum's blood, isn't it? You were out there all the time. You heard everything. Yes, thanks to Miss Hale. You all right? <laughs> all I lost with a southern accent, I got a kick in the mouth. You're fake. I can assure you the lady's quite genuine. She works in Lieutenant Weston's department. That's how she picked up her judo. Lady cop. Can't trust nobody nowadays. <laughs> Well, this is your roundup. Let's go. 